Um, hello there, my name is Brock Springstead and this is another tutorial. But today, I will take my time to do this. So, without further ado, I suppose, let's open this. So, obviously, crack open Photoshop. Let's go open to file, new. And generally, I create my canvas at 36 by 24 and at 300 resolution. Um, I do this because this is very close to uh, A1 poster size for print, and that just allows for the appropriate amount of pixels pretty much for the printer to print a high quality image, right? So, why not start with something like that and work backwards for web usage later on down the road, which I can do, uh, yeah, at the end of this, why not? So, okay. And I thought I would expand a little bit on that fractal tutorial. Um, as general, I like to start off by making my guides, which is under view. And obviously, I like to have my snap turned on and snap to guides turned on. And you can actually use percentages, which I find incredibly useful when making guides as opposed to actually using the math. It's easy with 24 by 36, but why not use percentages, right? Anyways. Um, yeah, let's start by making a basic shape on a new layer. And I'm going to show you those little, like, I guess tentacle-like shapes that I like to do. Um, I'm just going to start it over here first. It's a good size. And then, honestly everything I'm doing for these images, just think of it as a variable. Do whatever you want. I'm making a little tentacle thing, but you do just whatever you feel like. And I'm just using circles. Why not? So I'll speed up through this obviously so you don't have to watch me doing this. That's really long too. Alright, I think that's a cool amount of detail right now. Um, yeah, I like to create this by obviously making a shape, duplicating it, moving it adjacent to it, rotating, duplicating. I like to do that a lot as you can see, and it builds up stuff nice and quickly. And symmetrical. Um, yeah, just throwing that all in there. Why not? Let's label everything today. Tentacle pad detail. Tentacle pad. Done. And let's do that. I'm just going to lock that and hide it. And you'll see why I did that maybe later on, but it's just in case I want to go back to this original shape. So now we have your starting shape with whatever detail you wish. Let's start the fun stuff. And like I was kind of showing in the basic workflow, 
all you do is hit whatever image you made and duplicate it. Or you could use Control J to duplicate if your old top is there, real quick. But anyways, it's duplicated. Now hit Transform, Control T, and move that anchor point right to the center. Now let's scroll down. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Move it upward. Scroll down a little bit more, maybe. Okay, hit enter, then hold down control, shift, alt, and T at the same time, and just keep clicking it a few times. see that we have our first little fractal. Let's throw these all into one group now. Dictate that. I suppose we're labeling this one as well. And let's merge it all down so that we're not wasting any more space or using more RAM than we need to. Same process again. Duplicate and transform. And then control, shift, alt, and T. So, I kind of like to trick things to spiraling inwards to fill out the background and then kind of move it in. So I just duplicated that last step. And now I'm going to scroll this down. First I want to move my anchor point to the center. Then scroll this down. Then rotate. If you wanted to be a little more precise, you could actually calculate it how much percentage you did in the rotations on the first step, but we're just going to rough it out. And now control shift alt T and just keep going until you feel like it's done. was a fun a little weird design and yeah as you can see you can just kind of just go at this intuitively where you can plan this out as much as you want or just keep playing around and see what happens um, you could use photographs you could use even I don't know textures to graphics whatever you can make in the layer effects smokes you can put on it and do this. So I'll probably just uh, not say a whole lot for the next little bit while I'm working on this and just clicking away here. As you can watch me uh, on the side, I'm going to be doing pretty much the exact basic workflow tutorial that I did for fractals over and over again, taking uh, whatever detailed object I want, uh, duplicating it, transforming it with control T, moving that anchor, scaling where you like, hitting enter to actually confirm that transform, and then on that layer that you just made of that duplication, you're going to hit control, shift, alt, and T, and you just keep on hitting that until your computer pretty much crashes and burns. Um, yeah, uh, I can't really think of too much else to say besides maybe hit save at some point 
unlike what I've been doing this entire time, but might as well just finish it off and live dangerously. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this. Feel free to leave comments, suggestions below. Thank you very much for your patience while I kind of get my feet wet with making these tutorials. I'm sure I'll get better with time. But bye for now. This is Brock Springstead. Please feel free to check me out on Facebook at Brock S. Art. And yeah, talk to you later, guys. Good luck.